because it's time. Let's get started. This is the meeting of the Subcommittee on Port Control Cargo Working Areas Amendment Regulation 2016. Item 1, Election of Chairman. In accordance with um, the appendix to the House Rules, uh, we follow the procedure for s electing the Chairman. Uh, um, may I invite nomination from a member verbally, and um, valid uh, nomination must be seconded by another member, and the uh, nominated member must accept the nomination. Nominations, please. I nominate Mr. Wang Teng Kuang. I second. Okay, I'll accept then. Let's uh, get it done quickly. Do we need a uh, deputy chairman? No. Okay, no need. Fine. So that's um, concludes the uh, that concludes the election of chairman. May we invite the administration in now? Oh. Oh, it's, it's going to be quick with so many of you attending the meeting. We now move on to item two of the agenda. Um, from the administration, we have Ms. Joey Lam, Deputy Secretary for Transport and Housing. Mr. Ch Fan Lun, Assistant Director of Marine. Mr. Alex Lai, Government Counsel of the Department of Justice. And uh, Mr. Liu Zi, Assistant Secretary for Transport and Housing. Welcome. Members may refer to the Legislative Council brief provided by the government. That's a file reference THBPMLCRH stroke 10 stroke 40 stroke 1. Members may also refer to the Legal Service Division report LC paper number LS 17 stroke 16 to 17. And members uh, could uh, get a background from these uh, documents. Deputy Secretary, are you going to take us through the regulation? And then members uh, may ask questions. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, members. For this um, port control cargo working areas amendment regulation, 2016, is to put in place a concessionary rate uh, for parking fee, uh, because um, uh, parking fee is charged on the basis of per hour, and then the marine department conducted a review. The industry uh, put forward this request to the marine department uh, because in uh, recent uh, years the uh, 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 operations have been challenging, business have been challenging, and uh, they would like some form of concessionary arrangement so that if uh, vehicle stays in the parking space for no more than 30 minutes, then in, instead of charging by the hour, which is $33, uh, there could be a concessionary rate. So if uh, the parking um, duration is less than 30 minutes, then we could have a concessionary rate uh, of $25. We think um, that uh, works both ways. This is a good arrangement because on one hand, we're able to um, lessen the operation Cost or reduce the operation cost of the industry. At the same time, uh, the industry will have the incentive to finish uh, what they need to do in the PCW as soon as possible, and then they can leave within 30 minutes. That will help to facilitate uh, circulation of traffic in the PCW and um, improve the congestion situation there. Now, how did we come to the $25 rate? It's a matter of uh, balance uh, because here we're talking about public revenue. So we need to strike a balance between the interests of the in industry and um, um, public revenue. And that's why we think uh, $25 is a good starting point. After uh, some discussion with the industry, they think uh, this is an acceptable level. That's all by way of introduction.
Mr. Poon. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I don't try. To, I'm not trying to block the uh, passage of this regulation. But um, some uh, members uh, from our transport unions ask uh, some questions. They want me to raise them here. The administration just explained about the $25 uh, for, for half an hour. Uh, it's a more flexible arrangement, and I welcome that. Right now, the uh, charge is $33 per hour. Now, the administration wants to support the transportation industry and help them overcome the uh, help them in terms of their uh, challenge, business challenge. Let's say for the Western District um, wholesale market, um, uh, the parking fee is only ten dollars, uh, and uh, Changsha one for uh, the five point five ton lorry parking fee is only about five uh, uh, um, uh, six dollars for half an hour or twelve dollars an hour, and uh, in war chair within thirty minutes actually is free. So. Is there further room for reduction? Now you say you propose here half an hour, twenty-five dollars, and you you say you try to strike balance between twenty-two and twenty-eight dollars, and so twenty-five dollars the um, uh, starting point. But and then people ask, how come you don't um, take sixteen dollars fifty? Now you've done a survey for seven percent of the people who go into the PCWs, they will leave within thirty minutes. I wonder if you have done any analysis or comparison, say um, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and so on. So uh, it's a pro rata rate. And sometimes if people want to rush uh, just to save $8, that, that, could be, that could be dangerous. So they ask um, for this half hour rate, you begin for the um, Food wholesale market, uh, their fee is so much lower six dollars, ten dollars, half an hour, and so on. It's much lower than yours. So uh, that's the first question. The second point is now, um, if you now set the fee as $25, then that would be the basis. When you make adjustment, of course, it will go up further only from uh, $25. Will you give an undertaking that in future you're not going to use this concessionary rate as the basis for adjusting the hourly rate in future? The, the, those are the two questions for the time being. $33 an hour. That's been the rate since 1999. Of course, in um, uh, different uh, car parking lots, uh, there uh, because of the location, the fees will vary. Uh, here, this is the PCWA, and um, lorries come here probably for a different purpose. That's why since uh, 1999, the rate of $33 has been enforced. Your second question. For the first half hour, twenty-five minute dollars. That's what you're proposing, and then maybe in future, because uh, half an hour is twenty dollars, five dollars. So next time when we adjust the fee, we will make it fifty dollars an hour. Now, definitely, we don't have such intention. Okay, so we put that on record. The uh, government, the bureau, has made it clear about this point. Anything else from you, Mr. Poon? Now you said um, you considered a range uh, between twenty-two and twenty-eight dollars, but on what basis did you work out the uh, fee of twenty-five dollars? Yes, you said um, since uh, nineteen ninety-nine uh, you've been adopting the rate of thirty-three dollars, and of course adjustment could go up or down. Have you considered uh, adjusting downwards the thirty-three dollar fee? Because um, uh, the the lorries come here to do some work, they 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 don't just uh, park their car there. It's uh, because of operational needs they have to park there. Are you going to reduce the uh, thirty three dollar fee? Now, for government um, charges, there is a formula within the government to work out such charges. For example, for PCWAs. We adopt the uh, cost recovery principle in working out the fees. So we consider the uh, land cost in providing facilities, 
the facilities provided, uh, the operational costs for the facilities, and then we work out the total cost, and then we work out uh, how much we need to charge to recover the cost. So there is a fixed formula. And uh, um, based on that fi uh, total cost figure, if there's a need to reduce the fees, we'll do so. But so far, where there is no um, room for reduction. So you mean over the past 10, 20 years, your operational costs have uh, remained more or less the same? So there have been more changes? No, I wouldn't put it that way. But rather, uh, so far, the fees we collected uh, have not yet reached the level we'd like the fee to be pitched at. But, uh, of course, government doesn't want to increase fees at random. That's why for over a decade, fees haven't been increased. And um, so we, we are under, actually under a bit of pressure. Mr. Yick, thank you. While well, the um, um, government officials have been involved in discussion with the industry for a long time now, the industry has been asking for a half hourly fee for over two decades, and finally, this is the first step forward. You mean just um, to get a half hour fee? You've had to talk about it for 20 years? Yes, over 20 years. Now, I can. S I can see why the government insists on this level of fee. Uh, perhaps I can explain to Mr. Poon after the meeting. Now, okay, the industry has accepted this proposal, but doesn't mean that they're happy with it. Uh, let's say if we um, uh, um, set the fee as $25, we can monitor whether more vehicles are leaving sooner. If that's the case, that could achieve the purpose. That means... Um, uh, the room, more room is freed up in the tight uh, spaces in the PCWAs. If, say, after a year we find that actually helps um, um, uh, providing more space, then maybe um, the government could consider revising the fee down further. So I want to put that on record. A second point I also just like to put on record. It has to do with the operation of the PCWAs as a whole. It's not about the $25. For the... Uh, um, t um, term of um, PCWA, I understand, is five years. And in fact, there w there's been discussions at the um, transport panel. Members in general uh, believe that the five years is not long enough. Now, I've been to the PCWA. Their operations are rather rudimentary, actually. So how could we uh, improve their operational efficiency? They would need to make capital investment. But if the term is so short, uh, the, the, it doesn't add up. So, um, in accordance with the existing legislation, at least the term should be seven years, but if it could be extended further, it would help their operation. That's one other point I mentioned at other meetings. I'll right to raise it here. Now, let's say they tender and they win the tender and they um, get the, uh, uh, they, they are given a grant and then there is um, a deflator in, um, a deflator index for working out the rental. Now, I've uh, tried to find out what that is, but I think it's a problem to use the deflator as an index because we're talking about the expenditure of the government. Let's, what if, uh, let's say what if the next, as he said, we want to uh, start two more bureaus or um, there uh, are not enough policemen, so we need to expand the team. But that, then that will add to the cost of the government operations. But then what has that to do with the PCWA? So if you use such index for adjusting rentals of PCWAs, uh, well, uh, I, I can't accept it. Now, for inflation, is 2.1%, and then private consumption um, increase is 1.2%. Uh, That's about it. For the government um, expenditure index, that's 3.3 percent, so it's higher than inflation. So I don't quite get it. Is it because is it because uh, uh, certain businesses are more affected by inflation, or unless the government is saying that we are deploying more people to the PCWA to man the uh, areas, then I can see it. But uh, that's uh, not actually the case. So. For the criteria for setting the rentals, perhaps you need to revise them because it's not fair to the uh, industry. Okay.
So that's your comment. We'll put it on the record. It's not directly relevant to this regulation under consideration. But uh, still, we would like the Bureau to take note of that. Let's go move on with to a clause by clause scrutiny. That's straightforward. Marked up copy. Um, s section 415, I think. I think there's some amendment. Now, for section 1 of the regulation, which is about the commencement date, the 30th of January, we would like the uh, uh, measure to take effect as soon as possible so the industry could benefit as soon as possible from this concessionary rate. Uh, the second amendment is just about how we, uh, what amendments do we make, and the third point is uh, the, ex the actual amendment. And uh, we have added uh, item two, that is for the first half hour, the fee is $25. The rest remains the same, $33 per hour thereafter. Or if they park there at night, for the whole night, it's uh, $85. So it's the same as before, that's all. I think uh -huh. So, members, are you all clear about that? I think so very soon we are done with the meeting, AOB. Just want to check with you. Do we need to see deputations? I don't think so. Uh, that can be waived. And then a word about our timetable. The scrutiny period has to be extended to the 8th of February. And for us to move amendments, uh, the latest that you have to put them in would be the 1st of February. As to the reporting to the House Committee, since we have completed the examination of the regulation, so we have to report to the House Committee on the 20th of January 2017. I don't think we need a second meeting, so no need to fix the date of the next meeting. Nothing under AOB, so meeting adjourned. Thank you. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, members. Thank you.